Good morning, everybody. Jacob Cruz, Team EVA, Expeditionary Veterans Association. It is a beautiful early morning. It's like six o'clock right now. We're supposed to meet up at seven Sunday. And where are we at? I'm not sure if this is still in County San Diego or out of County San Diego. It's like on the backside of Idlewild off of the 74. We are headed to Ramona DH. And if you haven't heard about it, it's a uh, more or less a seven mile climb to the top. Uh, about a mile and a half of it is pretty flat because uh, we'll be on the surface streets about two and a half miles, I would say. And then we start climbing to the top. I show you all the way up there. So we parked down to this parking lot right here, right off the 74. And then, um, yeah, we head up to the top. I'm oh, sorry, so close. We head up to the top and uh, it's uh, about a four mile downhill. So we end up popping out right over here, or right over here, sorry, right over here. So um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've rode this trail. Uh, the terrain is loose over hard, um, technical, chunky, fast, fun flow uh, for what I remember. But um, yeah, we're gonna go get ready and uh, Get ready for this grind up at the top. All right, guys. See ya. Choo! All right, guys. So I guess it's a solo ride today. Nobody came out, but it's okay. It is uh, early, and it is a destination ride. So maybe I should move this meetup time to about 8 o'clock next time. But regardless, we... uh or I am gonna have some fun. It's about a mile and a half on this road to, uh, before we turn into a uh, parking or a neighborhood, which is another mile and uh, like a two, 3% grade. And then, uh, then we hit our truck trail and we have about five miles of truck trail until we hit uh, Thomas Mountain Trail and then that's what we'll be down going downhill on and then uh, what was it called the Ramona DH from where we parked at the bottom so I'm not gonna bore you with this road road ride so I'll get you a multiple points of the uh, the climb all right see you at the top uh, so there's some little downhills on the way up you have to be careful when you ride this road because as you can see it is a truck trail and uh, you will run into some off-roaders um, and you don't want to get hit <laughs> um, food for thought guys uh, if any of you guys ever want to join EVA's ride you don't have to be a vet um, we require three things <laughs> basically you support America you support our military and you're a mountain biker that's pretty much it because we understand that Ooh, skipper understand that PTSD uh, or um, PTSD not only affects veterans and military fix everyone everybody has their own personal story or nightmare that they're trying to uh, to forget about and recover and uh, EVA was made 10 years ago was made did I say made <laughs> Well, you know what I'm saying. We started 10 years ago and helped so many people along the way find their outlet for their therapy, whether it be mountain biking, hiking, or any other outdoor uh, sport recreation. 
And I just want to say, if you guys ever want to come out to an EVA ride, we have them all year round. Pretty much there's never a break. And uh, we ride every Sunday. We're very prompt when we say rollout is whatever time it is, seven or eight o'clock, depending on the season and the destination. So <laughs> if you happen to miss us or about to miss us, please give us a message, a call, so that way we can uh, make sure we don't leave you behind because we want to make sure everybody gets on our rides. We don't want to make, we don't want to have everybody come out here and uh, miss the group because nobody knew they were going to be late and miss their therapy session, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, we welcome everyone. Every ride is different. It's always challenging. You know, in the sport of mountain biking, or any other sport you got to pay to play and in mountain biking unfortunately if you like want to get to these epic sessions you got to pay the piper by climbing these big ass mountain hills to get to some fun downhill but don't worry we always have tow ropes for anybody who does not have an e-bike or is not a strong climber we're always here we have our tow ropes to tow you up the, the mountain and we take our time there is no rush a lot of groups who have senders which are guys who just like to bomb the trails and are straight goats climbing the hills tend to forget the people they are riding with not everybody's at the same skill level i know i'm not and I started mountain biking back in Hawaii a long time ago in high school. And uh, of course, young man, very sprout, a lot of energy, you know, 160 pounds too. Now, old man, 46 years old, heavier. <laughs> I'm uh, got the dad bod going on and a lot of injuries from the military. So I choose to ride e-bike now. You know, it helps me enjoy the sport I love. Gets me to destinations that uh, many people haven't been before. You know, I like being the guy who has the only video of a trail that doesn't have a video or get that first person novice rider honest opinion about how a trail is because sometimes you got these want to be Red Bull Rampage kind of people who just straight send it not or forgetting that the people who are watching their footage they're trying to get a feel for the trail. And you know, if you're one of those guys that are ballsy, send it, you know? But for the rest of us regular people, we wanna know what the trail's like, the pain that comes with it, the obstacles we may encounter. So just like this, Fortunately, unfortunately, I'm the only guy who came out today. Perfectly fine. But it gives me a chance to calm myself, focus, zen, think about life, you know? Sometimes you just need that, uh, that time alone to think through, through life. This is one of those times. And, of course, as you can see, we climbing. It's not an easy trail. It's about a 7.5 mile uh, climb-ish, because about two miles of it were uh, on the flat road. 
not at the bottom and then of course we got this truck trail that leads us all the way up to the top and then when we get to the top it's about a mile flat because we're actually going to go ride Ramona or not Ramona um Thomas Mountain Trail which I haven't done before I've been up here three times but I've always just only hit Ramona DH and uh I am intrigued to see what that other trail is uh is like so we're gonna get a total of let me see seven and a half miles up at about let me see six and a half down so it's good kind of sort of evens out besides you get the downhill all downhill at the end so we'll be fine so I'm gonna shut my mouth and I'm sure you guys don't want to continue to hear me breathing so I'll see you at the top all right guys so we are at the top of Ramona DH to our right there's a there's a little shitter benches people were parking so Ramona DH is on the right hand side over here uh, that's the entrance so after an 8.6 mile climb just to this spot but we're going to keep going because we are going to be hitting a different trail just keep trucking and I think the trail is about a mile or two up or it's pretty flat for the most part so should be fun all right I'll check in in a bit all right guys the moment of truth we are finally at uh what is your show called um damn. thomas thomas hill or thomas mountain power off thomas mountain uh trail so we did about 11 miles of climbing and should be about nine miles of dh and i'm sure which trail is which i'm pretty sure that's the same thing um looks like there's just a cutoff it's kind of weird because i guess they had a fire over here there's another entrance right there there's a, they had a fire up here so yeah this is the trail this is the trail nice so it is very loose we're in the sand um so many paths right now uh, I'm sure I want to make sure I'm taking the right path right now because I don't want to get lost. All right. So it is. This is the right trail. There's just uh, huh, multiple entrances to it. Kind of weird, but I get it. They had a fire up here. I don't know how long ago. And, uh, of course, the, uh, the firefighters, wildlife firefighters have to make fire breaks and trails so they can get to the fires and put them out but yeah we're on Thomas Mountain Trail after all that woo, hiking we did or biking you're now getting to the fun stuff full DH Allegedly, and fucking squirrels trying to hop out of you everywhere and kill you, but it's fine. It's nice, semi sandy, it's like soft over hard. Ouch! I have to stop real quick, adjust my pack because I'm scraping. All right. 
Yeah, one more. All right, we're good. All right. So, I did not bring the fat bike today. Whoo! And I was, I was getting scared. I had 40. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? See what I mean? I just break. I gotta make sure I go this way. Hold up, man. You literally can't tell where the trail is trail correct. There's so many fire breaks. Like that left trail legitimately, legitimately looks like a, a downhill trail. Or it looks like a connector. Oh, it's my phone. Oh, shit. Put away. Alright, back on track. Ooh, the chunk. The chunk. Yeah, that's a legit fire break. So they literally just cut straight through. No telling where that one goes. Probably same area that this does. You can tell not a lot of riders come up here. A little overgrown. <laughs> wow. Somebody actually put a freaking ramp right there. Like he's gonna send that. That's not a good landing spot. Alright. Nice. It's a nice flow. Considering we just had a hell of a climb. Nice to finally have some some downhill. Nope. Spoke too soon. Okay. So I guess that fire break leads us to the same same trail. Good to know. It's probably faster too. course we're taking our time going down this trail um, oh. like pick a line pick a line it's like if you want to race your refrain you can do salon shalom salon shalom I don't know how to say that word uh oh Go send it rock. Woo. All right. You know what that is about. We got option A, option B. Woo. That must have been a non-sanctioned trail. We don't want anybody riding on. fine. I don't mind. Nice wooded area. As long as it goes down. If it goes down, it means we're in the right area. Yes. Very nice. Nice flow. You know, there's some uh, couple section here, a little bit of a transition, but not a bad climb. It'll be all right. Whew. So, anybody who's new to my channel, know that I try to get as much of the trail as possible, so everybody knows what they're getting into and not a surprise you got to climb 10 miles to get a 10 mile downhill Whew. 
Transition. And then this trail ends up connecting to to Ramona DH, the bottom. Okay, I saw this, but it was a section that I had to, woo, too powered. Too much power on the e-bike. saying is if a tree falls in the woods do you hear it does anybody hear it I'll be the first to say I did there was a big-ass tree that just broke on the on the bottom of the hill all you hear is crick cracking and all of a, all of a sudden boom <laughs> that's crazy So this section is a little bit XC. I you know I promised a little bit of downhill, but look at that trail forks and it shows a couple little sections that you have to climb. This is fine. Now that uh, I'm on the e-bike, ah, that hurt. Whew. Squirrely. Chunk and loose. Awesome trail. You get what you paid for. Use single track. video Ooh. oh shit So the first part of this, well, majority of this trail is the Thomas Mountain Trail. You're in the woods, which is good. And then when you get to Ramona DH, it's all downhill. I think you get like barely one or two sections that you got to transition out of if I recall I've never been onto Thomas Mountain Trail so this is all new to me I don't know 
to you guys next time because I'm gonna host this again. Um, I don't know when, but at least I know you'll enjoy it after they've seen the video because it's a cross country downhill enduro session. Like, it's fortunate that I have an e-bike so I can quickly climb up these short descents or short ascents ascents Whew. yeah when we get to Ramona DH it becomes exposed Get flat over here. Nice, nice, nice. Flattens out. Ooh. Ah. Wonder what this is. All right, so we're almost out. We're about like 75% done. There's a truck trail that splits in between here. And continue on, the Thomas Trail is right there. So that's where we're gonna keep going. Um, yeah, I don't like another trail I thought we like crossed through everything but apparently we didn't So this is Ramona DH. This is where it connects. We're gonna make a left. Right over here. All right. So like we came out here through this uh, T. If you make a right right here, this brings you to those port or the, sh the shitters that I showed you at the first camping ground. That brings you right here. So now, we're on Ramona, DH. So now, it's gonna be a lot more fun. A lot more interesting. Definitely gotta watch out for hikers because they come out of this one more than they do the other one. So have your bells on, be courteous. Be prepared for anything and everything. Ah. Ready, chunk. Ooh. It is loose over hard. Still, uh, it's not that slippery. But, you know, depending how fast you come into these turns and if the rocks will get you. Woo. Of course, a little bottom bracket, what do you expect? I think last time I was up here, they had snow. 
got snow on some of these parts. Yeah. Very exposed. Not very, sorry. There's exposure on the left. Um, I'm not trying to fly because you know I am alone. Something happens to me. I'm asked out. Like I want to bring my fat bike here, but there's a lot of chunkiness to play with. Oh, oh, This whole section burn. Oh shit, switch back. Damn. Wasn't expecting that. Adventures. Yep, that's the session I remember. Uh, yeah, how chunky. Whew. Kind of got like a weird angle coming into it. Definitely hurting. <sighs> oh, like that pedal strike. Damn it. That hurt. Ooh, this is where it burned, huh? Switch 
back. I hate switchbacks. I can never do them. Ouch. Man, there's a lot that burned over there. Kick this over. There, that's my trail work for the rest of the season. <laughs> Ah, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Just ripped my shirt. Ah. Bushes trying to take you out. It's not the rocks, it's the bushes. Nice slowly downhill. Pretty sure that'll stop soon. <laughs> oh, switchbacks. Oh, my favorite. Not my favorite. <sighs> Almost to the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. Switch bikes aren't my favorite. The tighter the heart they are, the more I just like fuck this. All right, we are officially out of the woods. Now we're hovering on the side of this mountain. There we go. Oh, I told you. Switchbacks. Damn. Yeah, that's a tight one. All right. Break. All right. Back on trail. Yeah, I think it's... This section that it starts to get really bouldery so watch he you come through everything <sighs> oh yeah that's a that's not a good one That ain't skinny. Like usually when you think of a Oh, 
opposite of the switchback, it's fairly smooth. They got water brakes, boulders in the middle. Like, what the freak? <laughs> There's a roller if you want it. Bike reminds me that hey you have 30% left on the battery. Thank you. It's a good thing I'm not climbing anymore. Work gets squirrely. Look at all that glorious downhill. Whew. Great time. All right. Continue on. See, this is a switchback. That's how a switchback's supposed to look. So we're almost, we're about like 75% done with this trail. Um, we've got, I think one turnout, one big because we're dropping down down there. You can see the trail already. See the van. And then we're done done. I think we do have a climb right here, I think. If I recall. Nope, it's a switchback. <laughs> Try it on this. There we go. Right. Yeah, the bottom section of this is where it gets mighty interesting. Fucking flies, just leave me to fuck alone. Fucking natchez, fucking with you the whole time. Ooh, yeah, that used to be an O-line. That's a better line. That's a better, better one. Even though you break, all right, I'm gonna take a quick one. All right, so this section is <laughs> fucking cobbles, fucking cobbles. Reminds me of a uh, San Juan. couple of those trails. They're chunky. And of course, all the rocks on this trail end up in it. gets hard loose over hard then really soft in this bottom section 
There is a high point in this one. If you're flying, you can you can get it. But I ain't trying to crash. Somebody coming. on that break <sighs> almost to the bottom Almost, almost. Switch back, of course. Whew. Whew. I think I could do this one. This one's tight enough. Loose and exposure. Oh, yeah. Stairs. Ah, oh, fuck. Too high. There's a weird angle. almost done guys I got down there and that straight away and I'll be home to go good to go can't even speak right now all right I'm gonna change out batteries all right back on track <laughs> Happy I took the high road. Oh great, chunk of monkey. Woo! 
Jesus. Jesus. I maintain my composure. It's loose. This is the session that's super loose, super loose, and it's at an incline. Remember that little step up I told you guys? There it is, right there. All you do is come up, come down. Woo! All of that, guys, we descended. Woo! Hardy. If I remember correctly, towards the bottom of this is where it gets stupid loose and chunky. Yep, there it is. It's already starting. We are near the end, guys. We got a couple more sections. I am parched. I haven't drank one ounce of water since I started this climb. I know, I'm on an e-bike. But it is hot out, so, you know. If I felt like I needed water at the time, I would've took some. And you know, you should hydrate a few days prior on any to any hard ride which I did so and I drank a couple bottles of water before I started so I'm good almost out the woods They got all these rain detour looking things. Almost home. Almost, almost. Hey, look, a doable switchback. I'll take that. Oh. 
Oh man. It's amazing these motherfucking rocks get bigger and bigger. Fuck me up. Jesus, now I got a, you know I mean? <laughs> a drop switchback. What in the fuck? <sighs> Vehicles over there. About to the bottom, guys. So, how would I rate this trail system? Well, if you're you're gonna pedal from the top of you better be advanced intermediate advanced type of rider no beginners on this trail this is uh ooh. even though the trail forks says it's a blue trail this is a damn Borderline black trail, just because all the obstacles you got to come across. There, error, there is margin for errors, so you know, pick your poison. You can shuttle it. It's not that hard to shuttle. Looks like the road is a lot more kinder than it was when I rode here last time. And we did, uh, like I said, I've ridden this three times. And each time, uh, the first time we, I did a recon. Second time, we, I had a group of me with me, and the third time, we shuttled. And uh, the road was worse last time, so shuttling is is okay. Uh, have a little bit of clearance, you'll be okay. Uh, so yeah, it's doable. You don't want to do that. The climb, the eight mile climb. And we are at the cars, guys. We originally parked the van. Still in good condition, I think. <laughs> All right, we're good. Good to go. All right, guys. Jacob Cruz, Team EVA, Expeditionary Veterans Association. And I'm out, guys. Hell of a ride. How many miles? 17.2 miles altogether. So, nine miles, eight. Well, I did an extra two, so um, nine miles up, nine and a half miles up, and uh, ten and a half, or seven. Can't do that. Six and a half, seven and a half down. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's long, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of how this trail looks and how it feels and what to expect if you do decide to come out here solo. So I'm out this monkey. See you guys next week. Have a good weekend and we out this. Choo!